Hello to another series of videos by Z-Wave Europe. Today we want to show you how you can use the pop home in some really simple setups and applications. Since pop does not have a full documentation of the app yet, uh, we want to show you how you can use that pop home in your smartphone app and how easy it actually is to create scenes. First of all, we want to make a inclusion and exclusion of a Z-Wave device to our pop home. So I'm going to start the app and pick devices. And here in devices, I have two options. I can add a new device or I can remove one. So first, because I'm not sure if that device is still in my network, I will exclude it or remove it. And for that, I'm using a AOTech Nano mode and this device can be included via C-Wave. So it's a certified C-Wave device and it should work with my pop home. So I have two possibilities. First of all, I have AOTech and I can pick a AOTech device right here in my list. But since that product is not released in Europe yet, I cannot find it in the product overview of my pop home. So what to do? It's no problem if that product is not in the list, it still will work with the pop home because it's C-Wave certified and the pop home is also a C-Wave certified gateway. So this list of devices just gives me the possibility that I get the actual inclusion process for the product described in this app. So for example, I will pick the wall mode now and then the gateway will tell me what to do at the wall mode. Since the nano mode is not in Europe available yet, uh, we will just use the wall modes inclusion process, which is always the same at Z-Wave, but of course each device has different buttons to exclude this device. So let's do it again. Let's just pick AOTech and we pick just a random device. It can also be the door sensor. And as you can see, it describes how to exclude the door sensor, but uh, we actually want to exclude the nano mode. Now I'm afraid that somebody is messing up my C-Wave network right here. So I'm going to try it again. Let's press the button three times. And now my nano mode is removed. It's excluded. That means it's completely reset and is not in my network anymore. It's not in any other C-Wave network as well. So now we will add the device and for that I will press the plus icon. I will pick AOTech or another possibility is I look for other devices and then just start the inclusion process which means three times click on the nano mode and then the mode will be included to my pop home. So let's wait for some seconds and press yes because I have heard the confirmation sound and we will call this device nano mode and now the interview is still ongoing. It's not completely um, done yet because I see an icon, icon here, but this icon is actually not the one which we want to use. So we have to wait for several seconds and refresh the window. You can see the nano mode is also still blinking. Now it's stopped. I press the button once to wake it up. And now I can see the nano mode right here. And it's shown as a scene controller. Scene one means it's one time pressed. So each time I press this button, scene one will occur on my device icon right here. So that's it. That's how easy it is to include Z-Wave devices to my pop home. And in the next video, I will show you how easy it is to cre create simple scenes in my pop home.